free agency is right around the corner, and we have players that we need to resign ourselves before free agency and maybe during that free agent period to get back on our football team because we have players we need to have back that were successful this last season, and we don't want them to go to other teams. So in this video, we're going to go over an article from Fan Nation that gives you 17 free agents the Detroit Lions have on the team. And I want to tell you if we should resign them or just let them walk, give you my opinion on these 17 players. But before we get into today's video, if you are not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We are 70 subscribers away from 6,000. That would be amazing if you could make it happen. So, hey, let's get it done. Let's get this article going. All right, you can check out the article, Fan Nation. I definitely like this website. It's one of the go-tos that I go to regarding our Detroit Lions because they do opinions and they do facts and they give their thoughts, something that I enjoy as well. So you can ch check the article out for yourself. But they have 17 free agents the Lions have. And I'm going to give you if I think we should re-sign them or not. And if so, should it be a bigger contract? Should it be a one-year one deal? Should it not be all of that? So let's go ahead and begin with this article here. And starting with Nate Sudfield. I think the Detroit Lions should not re-sign Nate Sudfield. I think the Lions should go ahead and get a quarterback in the draft, whether it be fifth or sixth round. We have plenty of opportunity to find a young guy to sit behind Jared Goff, who has a higher ceiling than a Nate Sudfield. And if they don't want to go that route, or they do, and they still want to have a veteran, there's plenty of veterans like a Cooper Rush out there, or a quarterback to his nature. just a little bit better than Nate Sudfield, because I think the Lions will make the playoffs this next season. They have a chance to win the NFC North, and you just never know when an injury does happen, and you don't want that to happen to Jared Goff while we're in such a situation like making the postseason. Folks, smash that like button if you haven't done so. There may be an ad. If the ad takes place, hey, give a second, smash that like button. Get back to the video here. Next player on this list is offensive tackle Dan Skipper. Now, Dan Skipper, we've seen him on Hard Knocks, teared up because he didn't make the initial 53, but he came in for the good Detroit Lions as a good guard, as a backup guy due to injury. I think the Lions should re-sign him to a veteran minimum deal, a deal that, again, that would make him at the end of the 53-man roster, a practice squad type of thing. He was a value asset when the Lions had injuries to Jota Jackson and our right guard all throughout the whole season, so he's not the greatest player in the world. But I think he's a good player to have for depth. I, I don't mind having Dan Skipper come back. He's a big dude. Next player on the list here is Austin Bryant. I believe the Detroit Lions should not re-sign Austin Bryant. He didn't really do anything this year. James Houston basically replaced him. I think the Lions could go ahead and go to the draft and find a better, younger talent that has a higher ceiling for the Lions than Austin Bryant, who... Just hasn't done anything. He really hasn't. So I wish him nothing but the best. I really don't believe the line should get him back. Amani Awarie. Boy, I tell you what, before this season, I thought he would be a player to, you know, make that next jump. He made a jump, all right, off a cliff. The Lions should not re sign Amani Awarie. I think he should go in free agency. I think his time in Detroit is over. The only time that we heard about Amani is when there's a flag or a bad play. The Lions have an opportunity to upgrade the cornerback position. I believe they'll do so in the draft and potentially in free agency as well. I think this position is going to be looking much better next year. Amani's not going to be part of that. He just hasn't taken that step. Justin Jackson. Now, this is an interesting player here. I don't mind re-signing him to a potential, you know, like a 53-man roster at the end of it. A guy with the practice squad type of deal, veteran minimum. I do believe the Lions do better in running back position this offseason. I do believe they'll re-sign Jamal Williams. And you have DeAndre Swift, and they, they probably go in the draft and get a, get a running back, potentially. But I have no hate towards Justin Jackson. Veteran minimum deal. No problem about it. 
Chris Board. Now, when we talk about Chris Board here, he didn't really do anything defensively. I think the Lions can upgrade the LB position in the draft. So, no, I don't think we should resign Chris Board. Really no need for it right now. Special teams is his biggest ability, I guess, if you want to do it there. But for really a defensive player, for defense, I don't want to see him really out there. I think we could upgrade the position. Mike Hughes, I, I would say no, honestly. I mean, they could do that for depth-wise, but like we were talking about Amani, I think they're going to upgrade the position. I think there's better players than him. But if he wants a veteran minimum, I don't mind that. But not as a starter. Not as a guy who's going to be an impact player for the Lions in 2023. He's just... Look, he's decent as 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 depth. But I'm not wanting him to be a starter. In all honesty, I just I don't want to see it. Michael Badgley, the Lions kicker here. Now they could upgrade this position. Badgley, he wasn't horrible. He wasn't he, he wasn't excellent. He wasn't bad. He was good. Either way, I think they should sign him to compete. In training camp, so they say they get a kicker as an undrafted guy, or maybe they they do a six round pick on a kicker. Have him back and him compete with the other kicker for training camp. Let the best man win. I think he's earned to come back to training camp. Money Badgley, he got it done for the Lions when we were really hurting at the kicker position. Josh Woods, no reason to bring him back. Zero reason, in all honesty, here. Don't need to have him back. He's special teams. Okay. Will Harris. Now, if you are a fan of my channel, absolutely do not bring Will Harris back. He has been horrible at the cornerback position this year. He got better at the end of the year, but it's just not good enough. He's a net negative. Now, maybe great person, great leader, and I have no doubt I'm I'm not dogging his personality or him as a human being. I'm just talking about a player. As a human, I wish him nothing but the best. I'm sure he's a great person. But I'm ta- I'm looking at this as a business and we need to upgrade over him. There is I would rather take a cornerback in the sixth round than have Will Harris on this team. I think his time in Detroit should come to an end. No need to bring him back. In all honesty, just no reason to bring him back. Evan Brown, absolutely bring Evan Brown back. He is a great backup. He's a good center, as a backup center, and a guard, 100%. Bring Brown back. The problem is, I think other teams may have seen it, and this is what happened last year as well. If we can get him back, that'd be great. I'm sure other teams will look at him, though. You would think. But he is a very good player for the Detroit Lions. I love his versatility on the offensive line. You're going to have injuries, and Evan Brown can play guard and center. That's three positions this guy can play on this offensive line. Absolutely bring him back. And he plays pretty good. Alex Anzalone here. Now, this one is a controversial player. In the first half of this season, I would have said no. In the second half, he's really took his game up. I'm fine with bringing him back. I am. You, if you would have asked me again, first six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks of the season, I'd said no. But he he really showed that he can play like at a decent level. Now I'm not saying starter. I'm saying as you draft a linebacker, Alex Anzalone helps him out. Alex Anzalone I think would be a good piece, but I don't want to see him on the field as a starter twenty four seven. But rotational, he's a good leader, he can help teach, he's got some speed in him, get to the running back. So, I don't mind bringing him back, but I'm not going to want to overpay for him. So he could probably get a bigger deal than it was last year, depending on the contract. This will be a depending on the contract. Alex alone. But if they bring him back, I'm not going to be upset. Deshaun Elliott. I say, yeah, bring him back for sure. He he had injury history when he was with the Ravens. He got dinged up a couple times here, but in all honesty, he was one of the better safeties on our team. He really was. 
him and Kirby Joseph did a pretty good job replacing Tracy Walker. I'm fine with bringing him back. I am, because we do three safety sets. We don't know when Tracy Walker is going to be healthy, so bring Deshaun Elliott back, and how can you be mad at a guy who calls out Aaron Rodgers and is motivated? So, yeah, bring him back. Isaiah Bugs, yes, rotational defensive tackle. I love Bugs. I like when we signed him. I thought it was a good uh, out-of-nowhere signing. He fits well with the defensive line. We don't need him to be a starter. We don't need him to be the guy next to Lee McNeil. But you need rotational defensive tackles. Yep, bring him back. And I, I expect him to be back. I do. I expect Bugs to be back. Good player for the Lions. John Kaminsky. Yes, yes, yes. Waiver wire pickup. Bring Kaminsky back. He wants to come back. Fits perfect with this defensive line. Another rotational guy you just can't have enough of, and I love the commish. He needs to be back in Detroit line. I full expect him to be back. Jamal Williams, absolutely. Absolutely. He is the heart and soul of this football team. Jamal Williams is... He's literally the guy that gets this whole team going. He's motivator on offense. This guy has got a great attitude, fantastic personality. He fits under Dan Campbell. He's just a very good running back. He He's not great at everything, but he gets those crucial yards. Touchdowns, most definitely. Now, I don't think it's going to cost a whole lot to bring Jamal Williams back. A couple year dealer, a couple a couple year deal, millions and It's going to be above what he made this last he signed two years ago, but well deserved. Yeah. Lastly and surely not least, DJ Chark. Yes, on contract. I don't want to pay him more than twelve million a year. I think he's earned the right to come back. Him and Jared Goff got on the same page. Him and Jared Goff were making plays. He was catching one-arm catches. Besides his time, with he had a little bit of injury throughout this, you know, it was a couple weeks he didn't play. He's earned, he earned the right to come back on the right deal, for sure, on the right deal. That's the way that I see these free agents. Let me know in the comment section, who do you want to come back, who you don't? What do you think about this list? Everything in the comment section. With that said, folks, adios. Perfect.